Saturday morning. It's a sad morning for several reasons. <laughs> First of all, all the cousins are leaving. They're going home. The other thing is Lincoln fell to the whatever virus is going through this house. He's fallen as the next victim. We are praying that it is the last victim in this house, but Lincoln is upstairs being ill while we're trying to help everybody get ready. I'm helping Uncle Solo make sandwiches for the trip for all the our tribe of mini. And we have everybody working, so we're really sad. But I told Kenya to go upstairs and get dressed. And this is what she came down in. Give us a spin. So Christmas is well on its way in this house. <laughs> Judah, how was your night? I don't want to talk about it that much. <laughs> He's eating, so. It was not a good night last night. <laughs> I'm up here checking on Lincoln. Poor Lincoln has exactly what happened to Kenya. How are you doing, bud? Uh, I don't know. He's doing better, but this thing takes a lot out of you. So we are just praying that nobody else gets it. I feel awful, actually, that it was my two that came down with this, and I just feel so bad. Sarah, I'm so sorry <laughs> for, for exposing you all to this. So we're just praying that everybody stays healthy. Even though we've got some craziness going on with them getting ready and we weren't quite able to get to all the things yesterday that we wanted to do and on Thursday that I wanted to do, but I had one last thing I wanted to do with the kids and I ordered it on Amazon. These are amazing. This is called Tree Mendis and actually how I learned about this is last year at Easter, um, they have an egg decorating set and I love these things. They're so fun I ordered it last year for my kids to do at Easter and it's a lot of fun We'll show you how it works But I'm gonna sit with each kid and we're gonna do a Christmas ornament that they can take home with them That way since we're in full swing on Christmas season now I thought it would be fun to just give them an ornament to take home with them and I'll put it in the description below. So this is how it works. You get the ornament, you also get them, they, there's certain ornaments that you can have, and you place it in here, and it comes with all the markers, and what you do is you turn it on, and you just put the marker on, and there you go. And once it's all done, and there you go. And they've got an ornament. <laughs> so I'm going to let the kids each make their own ornaments. Precision going on here. Right, Dude is on. deep in thought. <laughs> Uh, 
you like that? No. <laughs> What's that? Hey, are you excited to be going home? Yeah. You want to go home? What are you gonna go? What are you gonna do when you get home? Um, we got some precision going. We huh? gonna get Sophia the first doll at the home. Sophia the first doll? Yeah. Really? Because we don't have them. So you know, are you gonna take it home with you? Yeah. Really? Who yeah. Ga who gave it to you? Kenya. Kenya? Oh, that's so nice. Are you excited about that? New toys? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the cousins going home? I don't want them to go home. I'm going to miss her. <laughs> She's so sweet. She just smiles constantly. It's like a resting smile face. Oh, thumb went in. You go, yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> We're in full disinfect mode right now, but also not only has that started to go that we've got all the kids, but the weather outside, the weather outside has started to change. <laughs> so when it rains, it pours people. Or it snows. Or here in Colorado, it snows. <laughs> I am at Target for our second run. Um, I am now going in to get a prescription for Lincoln for the same medication that they prescribed for Kenya to help with the nausea and the upset stomach and everything else. And they were nice enough to um, call in extra for all the other people in our household just in case we need it. And they've done the dosing for every age group including the adults <laughs> and we're all praying that this does not affect any of the grown-ups once again this may not have been the most picture perfect uh visit that we've wanted we are all hanging in there together and as parents all we can do is just keep going on and <laughs> just keep fighting through it eventually we'll all get through this and this will be a holiday that will be talked about I'm guessing pretty much forever. I'm thinking this one's gonna go down in the history books and when all the cousins are sitting around talking about, remember that one Thanksgiving? Yeah, it's gonna be talked about for quite a while. I just got home from our second run to Target and I walked through the door and I have an update that now the dog has thrown up. <laughs> So we just keep it's going. It's so funny because the adults aren't sick yet. <laughs> yeah, the adults aren't sick, but now the dog is thrown up. So. It's Monday morning, and we're sad to say they're really leaving this time. We don't want you guys to go. Sarah's packing up everything, food for the car. Kids are getting breakfast. Belle, we're going to miss you. Solo's got the babies. Luke's getting ready to go to work. Our Thanksgiving holiday is over, and now we all have to get back to reality. <laughs> it's gonna be so quiet and sad around here. Real life is no fun. Here we all go. <laughs> They're leaving us. Bye, guys. There goes the giant toaster. Definitely. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, the day after the cousins left, and um, we are slowly getting back into our routine. I'm sad to say we had another rough night here at Camp David. Lincoln seemed to have a relapse of the stomach virus, so we were up a lot of the night. So I must tell you all the prep from Thanksgiving and um, having so much fun with Sarah and Solo and our tribe of mini 
and just trying to keep up with everything and then having a lot of late nights of sick kids has a little bit taken its toll on me um, with some of the uh, autoimmune disorder that I, I suffer from. So today I'm in a little bit of that brain fog. I'm trying to come out of it, but I think it's just also general fatigue that we all suffer as parents. So I'm trying to, this morning I woke up and I couldn't even figure out what day it was. And I was sitting there, is it Sunday? Is it Monday? I can't remember, but I was able to get it and I know today is Tuesday. So we're trying to get back to normal. However, our school is gonna be a little bit different today just because Lincoln's still not filling up to it. We're gonna read some history lessons on the couch because Lincoln says it feels better when he's laying down, right? Yeah. We're at 997 subscribers. <laughs> so we were doing some history and I just checked the count really quick and um, we are so close to getting 1,000 subscribers. So we wanted to get it on video, but we wish Daddy was here. Daddy's at work. But we're gonna get this. for coming with us on this journey. We just started only two months ago. Um, and the reason why we're doing this is just to capture our journey in life right now with our kids so they have something to look back on. And we are just so excited um, for all of you that have come along and watched our videos and we've enjoyed all your comments and we are having so much fun doing this vlog. And um, we hope to continue to keep going. <laughs> And we just thank you guys for all your support and encouragement. And we'd like to also say thank you to our tribe of many um, for coming and visiting us, but also for helping us along our journey too. And they are such an awesome family. And if you guys haven't checked out their channel, you definitely should. I'll put the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much. And we are so excited to continue on this journey with all of you.